Hi, um, in this video, I'm going to introduce the major components of Spring MVC. Uh, there are five major components in Spring MVC. The first one and the most important one is called the Dispatcher Servlet. And uh, some um, articles we might call it uh, front controller. For me, I just call it a, a dispatcher servlet. That's a name used in Spring. Next one is called the handler mapping. And the next one is called the controller. Turn the lights on. And you are going to have the view resolver. And we're going to have the view. So how do they interact with each other? So first, we're going to have a client. You can think about the browser. And when you make a request, okay, you have a request that comes to your server. And uh, to your project, and when you have a request that comes, the request will go to dispatch servlet. So no matter how many requests you have, this request will always be first processed by the dispatch servlet. Dispatch servlet is a regular servlet class, and uh, this is gonna be the only servlet class in your entire web application. And the dispatch servlet doesn't actually handle the logic of the request. So who will handle the logic? It's going to be the controller. Then how dispatch servlet delegate the request to the controller? It needs the help from the handle mapping. So the dispatch servlet will ask a request, the help from the handle mapping. Okay, he will pass the request to the handle mapping. The handle mapping will have a kind of like a map inside. The handle mapping will tell the dispatch servlet which controller it needed to call. Okay, and we can use another color. And next one, the dispatch servlet already know which controller to call. So it will have the request goes to the controller. What is a controller? Controller is a regular Java class. And in the controller, you have the methods. Those methods are actually the methods which will handle the request, like save to the database, save the information to the database, to do the uh, login or logout, or to do the edit some information. And what's going to be returned from the methods in the controller? It has two parts. First one is the model. Second one is the view name. Okay, and the view is a view name is a logical name. And in the model, it are gonna contain the information which you might need to render on the page. So once you have the view name, how can I actually find the location of the view? Suppose you have a GSP under the web inf called the um, product details GSP, but in the view name it only return product. And how can I actually find the product dot GSP under the web inf? It uh, dispatch servlet needed the help from the view resolver. So dispatch servlet will pass the view name to the view resolver. Then view resolver will return the location of the actual view. Okay. So after the this step, the dispatch servlet will know the exact location of the view, and then the dispatch servlet will pass the model 
the model will contain the information to render the view and then eventually you're gonna have the response in spring classic spring MVC it's gonna be the string value or, or plain text back and once the dispatch server gets a response it will send the response back this is the flow of the Spring MVC major components, how they are interact with each other. Hope you like it. Thank you.